This lesson is going to be about the types of angles and their relationships. Before plunging in, let's outline the various angles we can study. Congruent angles, adjacent angles, vertical angles, corresponding angles, exterior angles, which are comprised of consecutive exterior angles and alternate exterior angles, and interior angles, which are comprised of consecutive interior angles and alternate interior angles. Beyond measuring the degrees of radians, you can also compare angles and consider their relationship to other angles. We talk of angle relationships because we are comparing position, measurement, and congruence between two or more angles. For example, when two lines or line segments intersect, they form two pairs of vertical angles. When two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal, complex angle relationships form, such as alternating interior angles, corresponding angles, and so on. Any two angles, no matter their orientation, that have equal measures in radians or degrees are congruent. They show the same openness between the two rays, line segments, or lines that form them. So these two 35-degree angles are congruent, even if they are not identically presented and are formed with different constructions. When two lines cross each other, they form four angles. Any two angles sharing a ray, line segment, or line are adjacent. In the following drawing, line JC intersects line OK, creating four adjacent pairs and intersecting at point Y. Can you find them all? You should have found angle JYO adjacent to angle OYC, angle OYC adjacent to angle KYC, angle KYC adjacent to angle KYJ, and you have angle KYJ adjacent to angle JYO. In our same example, angles that skip an angle, that is, angles that are not touching each other except at their vertex, are vertical angles. Here the word vertical means relating to a vertex, not up and down. Vertical angles are opposite angles. They share only their vertex point. Two intersecting lines create two pairs of vertical angles. See if you can spot them in our drawing. Angle JYO and angle KYC make a pair. They touch only at point Y. Then angle KYJ and angle OYC make a pair as well. They also touch only at point Y. You may wonder why adjacent angles are not also vertical angles, since they share the vertex too. Adjacent angles share more than the vertex. They share a common side to an angle. Now let's discuss corresponding angles. Anytime a transversal crosses two other lines, we get corresponding angles. The more restrictive our intersecting lines get, the more restrictive are the angle relationships. When a transversal line crosses two parallel lines, a whole new level of angle relationships opens. From this figure, we can pull angles that look like each other, angles that have the same position relative to one another in the two sets of four angles, four at the top, line AR, four at the bottom, line TO, are corresponding angles. When the corresponding angles are on parallel lines, they are congruent. Our transversal and parallel lines create four pairs of corresponding angles. Angle AYD corresponding to angle TLY, angle DYR corresponding to angle YLO, angle RYL corresponding to angle OLI, and angle AYL corresponding to angle TLI. In all cases, since our line AR and line TO are parallel, their corresponding angles are congruent. These same parallel lines and their transversal create exterior angles. An exterior angle among line constructions, not polygons, is one that lies outside the parallel lines. You can see two types of exterior angle relationships, consecutive exterior angles and alternate exterior angles. When the exterior angles are on the same side of the transversal, they are consecutive exterior angles, and they are supplementary, meaning adding to 180 degrees. In our figure above, 
angle AYD and angle TLI are consecutive exterior angles. The only other pair of consecutive exterior angles is angle DYR and angle OLI. Alternate exterior angles are similar to vertex angles in that they are opposite angles on either side of the transversal. Alternate exterior angles are on opposite sides of the transversal, that's the alternate part, and outside the parallel lines, that's the exterior part. The two pairs of alternate exterior angles in our drawing are angle AYD paired with angle OLI and angle DYR paired with angle TLI. Congruent alternate exterior angles are used to prove that lines are parallel using the alternate exterior angles theorem. Angles between the bounds of the two parallel lines are interior angles, again created by the transversal. Just as with exterior angles, we can have consecutive interior angles and alternate interior angles. Interior angles on the same side of the transversal are consecutive interior angles. In our figure, angle RYL pairs with angle YLO, and angle AYL pairs with angle TLY. In parallel lines, consecutive interior angles are supplementary. When the interior angles are on opposite sides of the transversal, they are alternate interior angles. They lend themselves to the alternate interior angles theorem, which states that congruent alternate interior angles prove parallel lines, much as the alternate exterior angles theorem did. In our figure, angle ALY is the alternate interior angle for angle YLO, making them congruent. And of course, angle RYL pairs off as the alternate interior angle of angle TLY. You can use your newfound knowledge of angle relationships to solve algebraic challenges about geometric figures. When viewing any new figure, go through your list and determine three things. 1. Relative positions of the two questioned angles. 2. Whether the angles are outside the parallel lines, exterior, or inside the parallel lines, interior. 3. Whether the two angles under investigation are on the same side of the transversal, consecutive, or opposite sides of the transversal, alternate. Once you understand the relationship between the two angles, you can assume some basic facts, such as their congruence or that they may be supplementary. You can use that awareness to solve seemingly difficult algebraic problems, like the one at the bottom of this article.